They say good things come to those who wait. Guess I'm gonna be at least an hour late. You've been so good to me, allow me to demonstrate. Hey, we're loving you, don't have to wait. Now come. Kim Tai, my name is Tai. This is Duke. And I'm super excited because in the last episode, she wasn't on the frame. She decided to ghost with the baby there. So baby, how was, how was it being being ghostly? Firstly... Yeah, welcome yourself, bro. Yeah. Hi. It's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. I can't stand because the baby is sleeping. But yeah. It's good to be back. Let me do this one. Hello to everyone who subscribed. Hello to everyone who's liked the page on Facebook. It's been forever. My name is Bonang and this is my husband, Bukamoso, okay. father to my child. Hectic. Your audition chief. Hectic. But thank you so much for being here. It mm -hmm. was so weird last week having you behind the camera, but I'm glad that you're sitting here. How are you feeling? Anxious. You haven't sat here since you've become a mom, like, does that make any, any difference? I'm very anxious right now. I'm scared that at any moment, I will go. Yay! But yeah, like I was saying, I'm like, super excited to have you back, babe. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you back. It's mm -hmm. good to have you back. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for clicking on this video. Happy Sunday. And before we start, I just wanted to shout out... I'm oh, trying to speak a bit... Quite loud. I'm trying to speak a bit low, not to wake the baby, but a big shout out to Tato D and Junita for getting married. I don't know if they already publicized this, but they went up at the Mahadi Samo on the social. So, a big congratulations to Tato D uh, and partner Junita. Uh, why don't you link Tato D's uh, YouTube? Tato D does like a lot of uh, mummy. Mummy, uh, mummy videos on YouTube. Uh, so Bonang and I have been watching that a lot since we're new parents. So thank you, Tato D, for that. We'll link her YouTube on our description on this here video. So, babe, yes, the big question was, uh, today mm. are we going to do a baby series? And we're going to talk about well, the last episode we did say we'll share more about our pregnancy journey, birth, becoming mm -hmm. new parents. Mm -hmm. So I think the agreement now is we'll structure that nicely mm -hmm. and then it'll be like a long series, hell on its own, you know, where we go from video to video to video, just talking about, we'll call it baby talk maybe. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah. Whenever we've said we do something <laughs> like that, it never pans out. So it feels like this is one of those where we should have just done it without jinxing it. Uh, because when I think back to everything we've said, we're gonna plan it out, we're gonna do like a series on this and this yeah. and this, it never pans out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna do that though. I'm not sure either, but it's it makes a bit of sense because it covers the where have you been, what have you been yeah. up to question. Yeah. Well, maybe let's let's leave it to the tribe. Tribe, do you want to like hear about the journey, uh, being pregnant, having a baby, birth, becoming parents? Let us know in the comment section if you want us to, you know, do share that, more. Yeah. Or would you like us to continue, continue with, with our just the day to day? Yeah, just stuff that we normally talk yes. about, right? So let us know in the comment section if we get a resounding yes, then we'll go ahead and shoot like a baby series. Where we'll talk about. How we got pregnant, having a baby, birth, you know, becoming the whole parents, first, second, third trimester, yeah, you know, cover everything. Yeah. Are you comfortable though sharing that? To a certain extent, yes. To a certain extent, yes. Okay, because I feel like it's more, uh, got it. It lies more on you, uh, the comfortability of it. I I wasn't doing much of the work. I was there as as a support. Uh, you know, she was carrying the baby. So if you're comfortable sharing it, then we can go ahead and share it, right? All right. So on today's episode, we decided to go back to our regular content or regular topics that we discuss. Yes. First of all, before we get to that, this morning, when I was cleaning the kitchen and she had a meltdown because... I did not have a meltdown. Ah, babe. She had a meltdown because my in the kitchen, I was having some goat meat, right? Late at night, I was having goat meat, you know, watching Netflix. So I get so puji, they get chata marapo, you know, because it was well cooked. In a, it was the type where it falls off the bone, eh? Ilamanate, boiled goat meat. So after I had it, 
Beketo hala marapu mo plating. And I was a little sleepy, right? Nike out sale. So after I did that, Beketo hala marapu mo plating. Put it in the kitchen counter. But you could me like a... Then you could me like a let's say, like, you know, like your what? A kitchen cloth. So I covered the bones with kitchen cloth and put it there. One of my is having a meltdown. You know, this is disgusting. Why did you leave the bones? Babe, are you okay? Yeah, if you feel it, the amount of meltdown that she was having was not equivalent to the thing that I put there, like the bones covered Galetzela. That was just, I, I was eating, it was late at night, Nikoatzela, I just put it there, went to sleep, no, but I'll see her in the morning. Unbeknownst to me, she was the one cleaning the kitchen this morning. Then she had a mini meltdown. So really? I did not have a meltdown. Let's you start had there. a meltdown. I did not have a meltdown. All I said was, Hopalai. I grew up, this part of the meltdown. What is so difficult about throwing it in the trash? And then what do you do after you throw it in the trash? You tie it up neatly and nicely. I was sleeping. Instead of leaving it on the kitchen counter. Like in what world? I did. I did. Let's... <sighs> anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about today. This yes, is just like regular conversations. This is regular fast, couple fast. stuff. So... A conversation for today, Bonang and I actually had this uh, discussion a while back. Um, I, I, baby, let's let me, go, let's I yeah, go, I yes. We realized that uh, we're on two sides of a spectrum about being friends with exes, right? So conversation was, if in your family, say you have a sibling, you have a cousin, or somebody that you're close to, that person starts dating someone, right? relationship I think it becomes serious mm. to a point where you are introduced to the partner your yeah. brother your sister your cousin introduces mm -hmm. you to the partner mm. things seem to be getting a little serious right mm. uh, you know the future looks bright we don't know what the future holds currently but mm. from where we're sitting this is serious it's a serious relationship right and then six down a year down the line they break up right mm. They break up when they've already met that partner. Mm. Would it be wrong if you continue being friends or acquaintances with that person? You know, a regular hi on WhatsApp, a regular, hey man, hey, where are you? What's happening? How are you? Da, da, da. You know, I'll call it being friends in this instance. Is it wrong for me to continue being friends with my siblings or cousins' exes? Right? So that's, that's the, the debate that we're having. But I felt like, what, what do you think? I know you, you I, felt very strongly about this. I think you're slightly confused, but ah, yes. Okay, now, how am I confused? The, the one we were talking about was where yeah. your family, yeah. like your mom and your siblings, yeah. like very close people, mm. are still in contact with mm. an ex, mm. but you have like a new... Mm. A new person. Okay, yeah. Is it, is, it's not the same. Okay. It's not the same. What's the difference? I like your merch, by the way. You can tell merch. It's not the same, but yes, the issue was if people you are close to, mm. very close to, are in communication or in contact with your ex, mm. but you already have someone new in your life. Mm. Would you have a problem with that? Okay. Yes. That's fine. So in this instance, not and people. Okay. I am not the person who was dating, right? I'm people, I'm the cousins, I'm the family that you introduced to your ex. Mm. So I'm speaking, you know, I'm speaking from that perspective. Obonang, you're my sibling, you've introduced me to a person, mm. things were serious. Then along the way, you guys break up. Like it's like in a relationship, we're friends, we go out together, mm. we checked, you know, we reply to each other's statuses on WhatsApp. So in this instance, I'm your sibling? Yes. You're my sibling. Okay. So I felt there was like completely nothing wrong with that. Just because you've ended things with someone doesn't necessarily mean for those platon I think for platonic relationships okay. with other people by the way introduced to when it need to end. Mm -hmm. It's sort of unrealistic of you to expect people in your life to now because we're now how and but for them to totally pull back and say yeah, so now that Bukamsa is not there, we can't talk to you anymore, we can't associate you with you anymore. I feel like it's unfair to those people. I've been in such uh, instances, by the way. This is not a hypothetical situation. 
Okay. Yeah. Alright. Do you think I was wrong in saying that? Or in feeling that way? Honestly, it depends on your how how your sibling feels. Mm. It's not about you. It's about your sibling. So if your sibling is cool with you being obviously they're not gonna be cool friends with this because there's a there's a current person in the picture it does not make sense for it why are you still f- picture this mm. it's your birthday mm. or not your birthday it's my birthday mm. and my man get her permission so like so. I have an ex. I get. Yeah. Let's say I have an ex, yeah. and it's my birthday. Yeah. I get. Yeah. You are the current. Yeah. You're at my birthday party, yeah. and my siblings okay. invite no. ex. Uh uh. Yeah, baby, you're losing the plot. I'm not losing the plot. No, 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 they're no, no. friends. Listen. They're close. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait. It doesn't have to be my birthday. Yeah. It could be any event. Yeah. It could be like a family gathering, yeah. and he's invited. Yeah. But you're also there. Okay. Hey, would you be okay with that? As the current. <laughs> what is he doing there? I mean, he knows other people through me. Just because he knew those people through me doesn't mean for a, now the only reason why the person will be there is because of me. Maybe I'm complicating things, but I feel as the person who introduced you, Gomoto, it's very unfair for you as my sibling, my to cousin. Dictate. Yes, to dictate. Yes, to dictate. Okay, okay, how can I do this? What are you doing? I know I introduced you guys and you guys headed off, uh, you know, uh, you see eye to eye, you are interested in, you know, similar things. So break up that relationship. It doesn't make sense. Honestly, I don't know where I fall on this one. Mm-hmm. I just, eh. I just, I just find it very complex in how we deal with like an ex, like what if, you guys were in a very serious relationship and katatu we drop we we attend like a family event and the person is there and i'm there no, man. i think i would have if i was your current mm. i would probably have a problem with that person being there because if your family is having such a hard time moving on mm. Who's to say what are in the background? I don't know why nobody likes me. For me, I'm the I'm the person who came and pushed the person that everybody likes out. And Obi Leja Hore Kibon Sia Hore Wa I do an idea. Yeah, that's 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 another Like I'm asking, to... like how how then do I know nah what they you know this person being here is just why why make it about you? Well, I understand it's, it's gonna be about yes, you because it's about me you and that in person at one point that person held the position that you now hold hey. right, in the family. It's tricky, but now nah, I feel like it's very unfair uh, to expect the family yeah, to, to expect me to just because you broke up with somebody that you introduced me to. Lady Zala, we went out together a lot. Now you expect me to break up with that person as well. Mm. It's. I don't want to lie to you. I. Okay, when it comes to my friends, mm. if you guys break up, I normally I I, I guess maybe, you choose. I don't I don't really attach myself to that to that people in in that way. Mm. Like I I don't I keep a bit of a maybe I was attached. Right? I was yes. attached. So in that in such an instance, it's not a question. Like if you guys break up, get ah hadi, you know. That's it. Like if we run into each other at the mall, I'm like oh hi. But hella hella just uh, on a normal cold day hella mm. and I'm just like oh hi how are you doing mm. I never I don't even have that numbers so you see that's the problem when the when they were introduced they don't know each other and then we had a lot of common interests so our friendship grew from just kimumiti le through and no but the case my sister or my cousin my to not my now main, having other interests my main outside. contention is if the person who you met them through has a problem. Then you need to take a step back because if the person you met them through is family, mm-hmm. do you not care? Wahu balala, this person took time out. What of if they're not saying it? They're just acting weird. Ah, then oh. you need to work on your communication. <laughs> <laughs> but still, all I'm saying is, I would feel weird if I was the person. Uh. 
Ghana, I brought like my new my new mans, mm. and y'all are still hovering. You're still entertaining. You're, you're still one with. You're still in the Old Testament. <laughs> I'm trying to be <laughs> in the new. <laughs> so I would just I I feel like it's sort of a way of people showing support mm. for you. Mm. Okay, you've moved on. Maybe hang out in secret. Hi. Ah, yeah. You see now, Shata <laughs> should be running around in secret with people. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's going to be public. We're not hiding. This. Uh, again, it's giving me cheating vibes. Like I'm not cheating but with that you, person. But if you if you know I have a problem with it and you continue doing it, that's where there's going to be harm mm. and That's what I feel. Hmm. If I have, if you know what I feel a certain type of way about you hanging out with someone, and you know what you hanging out with someone rubs me a certain type of way, mm. but you continue doing it, this is indirectly you're telling me what a wanna relationship done with that person. Mm. This relationship is more important. Hey, it's more important. Okay. Hey man, I hate it when such things happen. Eh? Hey. We lose so many good people because of because you were an ex to someone. Yes, unfortunately. Can I go meet that person outside that relationship or that, that realm of you guys having been in a relationship? I think the issue becomes... Because it's not very easy to meet decent, nice people, you know? I understand that, but the issue becomes sometimes their relationship ended... Hold us out. And how mm. Sawayana, I expect people who love me to take your side. Yes. Hi. The selfish. Hi, <laughs> man. So there's a certain expectation when it comes to people around you. So mm. sometimes we we are human beings. Mm. So I expect what about Pubami will be on my side. Mm. So hello but Pubami I know are the very people who are now hanging out with this person. Who mm. you feel or inside man, mm. like your your out here spreading my base. Hey man, I'm not that interested in a relationship like that though. But how do I know that? Yeah, so you know. How what? do I know what a casually when that person asks a question about me? How I feel information. How 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 are I? When I unbeknownst to you, you're like, oh, this person, we're just friends, you know. Like, yeah. you just, I hear like, you. Yeah. So if I feel like if someone close to me mm. breaks up with someone, and I would have to explain the situation to them for the Ghana. So we're just gonna have to break up. You see now. <laughs> well what these conversations. Now nah, I, I, I I don't wanna be having these you conversations. Think so you're just gonna have to break up with that person uh, too. Now I have to go through a breakup because when I decided to break up. Ah, come uh, yes. On. Come on. You know, but this brings me to I think um mm. it's telling me something that I should not be meeting just boyfriends or just true. girlfriends true this is why hey? yes because then yeah. i become attached i form like yeah a very strong <laughs> <one>. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. and then you go and so somebody decided to join us for you know for the episode but i think in closing what i wanted to say <laughs> What's happening in the She's breastfeeding. <laughs> in closing, what I want to say, what I, not personally, I'm not going to just meet boyfriends and just girlfriends. When things are getting a little serious, and not not a little serious, but when things are serious, well, if anything else happens after that, then you know, we gave it a shot, right? Or, this is a big or. What's that? You don't attach yourself to people so much. <sighs> That's difficult. You maintain some distance. Until things get a little serious. Or a bit more serious, right? Mm. That way, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, this one, mixed, mixed, I'm still... You don't go all in. I'm, I'll still be a little selfish about it. But let us know what you think in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we'll check out the, you know, the episode because... It's time, you know, with we'll certain things we have to attend to the baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, do like the page on Facebook, Duke and Tai. Uh, follow and subscribe on YouTube. It's still called Duke and Tai. Also on Instagram, Duke and Tai. And we'll see you guys next week, right? Duke and Tai. Baby, do the thing. I can't do the thing. Uh-uh, do.
Hey, baby, do the thing too. Come on, guys, do the thing. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> they say good things come to those